So you want a killer home gym. Everyone knows the home gym isn't complete without a quality heavy bag. The problem is they're heavy, which means the shipping costs can get a little steep. Don't fret, we have the solution. Reduce your shipping costs and buy an unfilled heavy bag that you can fill at home. In this video, we'll show you just how easy it is to fill a heavy bag yourself and end up with a heavy bag worthy of your gym. Filling your heavy bag with the right materials is critical. Lucky for you, you've probably got that stuff lying around your house right now. We're talking t-shirts, jeans, sweaters, shorts. Don't worry, we won't tell grandma about the sweater. Most people don't have 100 pounds of clothes lying around. If this describes you, we recommend thrift stores such as Goodwill and Salvation Army. Even friends and family may have items laying around that they haven't had time to donate yet. Many times, stores like Goodwill will have clothing that is unsellable due to holes or stains, which will not be an issue for your use in the heavy bag. And the best part is, you may be able to get them for free. You will need approximately the same weight and material as the bag weight rating. So if you have an 80 pound bag, you will need 80 pounds of material. That is a lot of material. One pair of jeans on average will weigh around one pound. The best filled bags are done with pure, compressed textile fabrics. Still on the hunt for material? Ever heard of textile recycling facilities? Google search your local area to find one. There are tons of these places and many times you can buy the materials you need for as little as 15 to 20 cents per pound. Once you've got your raw materials, it's time to shred them up. I definitely recommend some heavy duty scissors. You can find some cutting tools from your local craft store if needed. With your tools in hand, make sure you cut out any hard points in the clothing. Zippers, rivets, buttons, anything metal or hard plastic. You really don't want to be punching any of those things. After you cut out all of the unwanted metals and hard plastics, you can now start to break the materials down to the appropriate size. We suggest the material be cut down to roughly the size of your hand. This makes it easy to fill and compress the material. Now that you've got a pile of shredded fabrics, it's time to shape the bottom of your bag. Your tool of choice here is a broom handle or something similar. To start, use the broomstick to pop the base out so you'll be able to get the material packed in those hard to reach places. Once the bottom is shaped, add a six inch layer of material to the base of the heavy bag. Use that broomstick to shove the material tightly into the bottom edges of the bag. You will know when it's good when the seams are taut. Now, start adding more material in layers of about six inches at a time. Tamp it down with the stick, focusing on tightly packing any gaps with material. Do this until the bag is halfway filled. At this point, take a moment to feel around the outside of the bag with your hand. Look for pockets that need material. If you find any, simply add more material to that area and press it in with the broomstick. Continue this process six inches at a time until you are to the top of the bag. Once you've got the bag almost completely full, it's time to zip it closed. Take care on this final step and finish properly. Take your time to work the material in while you close the zipper slowly. This will ensure a fully filled bag that hangs properly. Now it's time to hang your bag and get a quick session in. Look at that thing, it's glorious. After a few sessions, the material will further compress and begin to settle. If you want to increase the weight or density, you can unzip and add material following the same process. Now you've got an awesome heavy bag that you filled yourself and saved money on. If you filled your own heavy bag, let us know how it went in the comments section and don't forget to hit subscribe so you get more awesome videos from Combat Corner.